Hey guys, I'm back. It's Friday, September 30th, and I'm about to get ready to go to work. So I'm going to still go to work because I have nothing better else to do. But last weekend, you know, I was vlogging. But I didn't do no money count for last weekend. But last weekend was pretty good. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to vlog tonight. And tomorrow, tonight is going to be slow because it's literally like a um, thunderstorm, hurricane, flood, all that. So I know it's going to be slow. But like I said, always say you just never know. You might just have a good day. You know, we'll have a good night. I don't like curly though because you can just sweat, you know, honestly. Especially if you don't know how to do hair and make it look brand new. Because like, when I get my straight hair, I'll be getting it done a whole week or two weeks later. Because I just don't know how to make it look brand new. It could be that one person to just come in, you know, and just make your night better. You just never know. I don't miss no days at work unless, like, I'm out of town. But more than likely, I'm never out of town on the weekends. I be out of town, like, during the week sometimes. Like, if I do. Okay. I'm done putting on my outfit. And putting on my lashes. So I'm about to get ready and head out it's still raining very very hard but you know about to go to work still i hate when i wear lashes sometimes because this problem i gotta go back and do it again i feel like i'll be putting on my la my lashes on right anyway I hear that rain outside, like it's still raining very bad. So, I'll let you guys know how work is. Because I'm going to check back in when I go to work. It's going to be on my iPhone though, not on my camera. Because I don't like bringing my camera to work. Because sometimes it be too much going on. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't October 1st. So it's the first of the month. It's October. This is like one of my favorites. Holiday, well, my, one of my favorite month because Halloween and Halloween is my favorite holiday for real, for real. Other than like Christmas. Halloween is really my favorite holiday because I love scary movies. I love spooky season. Like Halloween is my favorite holiday y'all know i went to work last night and like i said you just never know how work going to turn out i actually did pretty good even though the club was super dead and it was like 10 people you know in the club it really don't matter because at the end of the day it's all about who you know and it's good to just know folks you get what i'm saying and being a people person so that's a tip for you guys let's count this money and I guess it did my day. Money smells like smoke. I swear. I'm gonna straighten it, run it through the money counter, and I'm gonna let you guys know how it was. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping, was okay, so what? Someone hits a block or my tail fills us. Man, a house in ropes, but this shit too flush. Say my day the number, but I keep waking up. No, you see my text, baby, please say something. Why am I the flash, man? I'm cheapskate, huh? This is fame, not cold. I don't even know what that's about. Watch your mouth. Baby got an ego twice the size of the crib. I can never tell the shit it is what it is. Said what I had to and did what I did. Never turn my back on every G. Got me here. Heard you got the paddock on my wrist. Doing front flips. Giving you my number, but don't hit me on no dumb shit. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us. They doing too much. Haven't done my taxes. I'm too turned up. Virgil got a padd
working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too So, I made this last night. You know, it's very slow. But, you know, it was worth coming to work. All right, guys, I am back. And I'm about to do the usual with my hair. Make sure it's back to life. And go about my day. I'm going to get dressed at work. So, yeah. I'm going to get dressed at work. Hopefully tonight be good, you know. But who knows? You never know, you never know. So this is day two, October the 1st, and it's a Saturday. And we have an artist named Big Walt Dog coming. So it should be good. You just don't ever know. I'll be having fun like, with my hair. It's the baby hairs and all that. Like, <laughs> but it's okay because I'm gonna get my hair done next week. Hopefully. I'm ready to drink me some Red Bull so I can not be tired. Like, my phone was ringing all day today. And it's like, y'all know I work on the weekends back to back. I wake up late. I go home and go to sleep late. So just like, just give me a few minutes to just get myself together. So let's see, what advice can I give? Girls that wants to start doing bottle service at clubs and stuff. Hmm. I say get your makeup done, get your hair done, wear something nice, and go to the club that you want to audition at or try it out at and talk to the owner or whoever is in charge with the um bottle girls or whatever. Or you can easily DM the um page or whatever. You know, but make sure that your page, your Instagram page is up to par. Make sure that you take nice quality pictures or whatever. Like, don't have pictures all over your page that has filters and stuff up there. Because, you know, they're going to want to see, like, how you really look without filters. And, like, if you edit your photos, not edit your photo. I mean, if you do, it's okay. But I'm saying don't edit your photos where when a person see you, they can't recognize you. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, have a good instagram page make sure that it's not private because how they gonna look at your pictures and stuff if they don't follow you you know what i'm saying and some people don't want to follow you right away you get what i'm saying so make sure that your page is not private so they can just glimpse and look at your page um i would say followers and um influence don't matter but i don't know sometimes it matters to some clubs sometimes it don't you know you can always build up your followers and like your influence and you're like your clientele while working in clubs so it's like some clubs it matters some clubs it don't so i say don't worry about your followers because you can get them up so yeah that's what that's just one advice another advice is when you're trying out you know be friendly be you know ask questions be talkative you know ease your way in so people can know, get to know you, get what I'm saying? Don't be standoffish or rude or just be staring because it's just like, you know? I mean, you just gotta, I don't know, you just have to, you know, be a people person. So you should, you know, when you audition, you should go talk to the new girl, I mean, talk to the girls that's been there. Maybe they can teach you a couple things or give you advice. You know, don't be scared, don't be standoffish. Just be yourself and always have open ears. And then, you know, when working in the club, don't take nothing to the heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, working with the club, like, as I learned, don't take nothing to the heart. Anything negative, don't take it to the heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, as I, like, how I feel is you doing, either you're doing bad or you're doing good, people still gonna talk about you. Like I always tell myself, I'm me, and it's like, nobody can tell me nothing, like, like you gotta have that confidence, that's just me, like, I don't care what nobody say about me, 
I know I'm that girl. Another thing, like, you might not always be that customer type of person. You get what I'm saying? Like, people have different, people like different looks and styles or whatever. So, with that being said, don't get mad if a customer don't want to tip you or don't want to book a session with you because it's like, they like who they like or they want who they want. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, I'll go more in details and I drop a bottle Q&A or whatever, bottle girl Q&A. So I got y'all, but them just the type of tips that's mainly need for when you want to do bottle service for real, for real. I'm checking back in. It's October the 2nd. It's a Sunday. Last night um was lit. It was good. Definitely good. Definitely. So I have to count all this by myself. I have no help. So when I'm about to have it done, you know, counting all this, I'm gonna let you guys know what I made. It's a lot. Last night was super late though, so I can't complain. This whole weekend was good for me, so I'm blessed and thankful. So yeah, I'll check back in when I'm about done. It's 4.40. You guys see, it's 4.40. So I'm about to see how long it's going to take me. I know it's going to take me a little minute, but I'm about to turn on my TV, listen to music, do whatever, because I have to get this straightened and counted because I like to know how much I made. How much I be making during the weekend or whatever. And if it's a good weekend, so I definitely want to know. Hard work and dedication. You feel me? This is nothing but hard work. I'm just going to show you guys. Because, like, they get up, you know, it's going for. So, it's like, I don't be trying to have to vacuum every time I can't money, but I'm going to have to anyway because it's going to bother me. I forgot about this bag. Sheesh. I don't know. I like to say this. It might count as later on in the week. It just depends on how long it's going to take me. Because I like to count everything for a but we don't see it. I don't need here. Usually I have help, but I don't have help. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm back, and it's 5:56. So it took me like an hour to straighten these ones, and this is what I straighten. Show you guys. So this is what I straighten over here and all that. So that was just last night money. Let's play a game. Um, how much y'all think I made last night? And whoever gets right, I can just send them like a little cash. Not even a little cash out because I don't have cash out. So I send them like Pay or Venmo or whatever form of payment you guys want to take. But if you um guess it like around the amount or whatever, I got y'all. Just play a little game. That's about it. So yeah, I just want you guys, if you guys looking at my video or whatever, and was like, damn, and all that. I just want you guys to know that I, oh, when I first started out, I won't making this type of money. So I don't want y'all to think, oh, let me try to do this and try to come up with some quick money or whatever. Doing bottle um, girl job or whatever, doing bottle service, to me, it don't, um, what, how can I say it? Like... It's not over. It's not an overnight thing. You get what I'm saying? I've been doing this for a minute, so all my weekends gonna hit. You get what I'm saying? Because I've been in the game in a minute, and I seen and I watch, and most importantly, I waited my turn. Like I never hate on anybody. Hate it on anybody. I never stole money. If you wanna call it like that? You get what I'm saying? Like I said, I waited my turn and I built myself up. But it don't take overnight you know what i'm saying so if you're in a bottle service industry or whatever and you're not making money or whatever you know you know keep trying maybe you got to keep trying or maybe it's not for you get what i'm saying but like don't give up easy because as you can see it's money to be made in this industry and one thing i like to always tell girls that trial or whatever like don't give up easy and like 
if you're gonna be in the game treat it like a real job because me personally i treat this job like a real job because it is to me it is a real job because you know you're getting paid or whatever but treat it like you know <laughs> a real job you get what i'm saying like always come don't call out don't show up you know don't disrespect people or the owner and all of that like be respectful and like be thankful you know what i'm saying so i don't know that's just me though i'm always like a thankful respectful person so yeah like and then definitely save your money like always save your money you know what i'm saying because you don't know when a rainy day gonna come or you just don't know you know what i'm saying like if anything can happen to the club and just shut down you just never know so it's just like number one rule is to always save your money bottom line always save your money don't just because you made five hundred dollars last night go spend five hundred dollars the next day no put most of it in your savings and then take a little out and then splurge on yourself don't spend the whole five hundred dollars so yeah that's all i gotta say about that i'm about to finish running this up